Yo! Today we are gonna talk about the one child policy of China. We are going to uh, start with the background of this uh, uh, thing and then why it's, a, why it's a problem and then uh, some conclusions and some discussion about it. Okay, so the background of this uh, one child policy is that it is a conspiracy. It's a, it is a news narrative against China and uh, to make China look bad. And uh, it's also based on a larger conspiracy uh, uh, that has been proven. <laughs> well, I mean, it's a very old conspiracy, but it's been proven like basically for many for a very long time now, years and years and years to be a false conspiracy of a so-called overpopulation problem of the planet. Too many uh, uh, humans and too little resources, food and so on. But I mean, it's, it's a fake, it's a false story, it's a false uh, conspiracy, it's false information. And I mean, it's basically about poor countries or like non-beige countries that uh, are being told by, <laughs> by America and so on to control their populations and uh, and uh, stop uh, having so many people it's there's a racist factor in there <laughs> and it's based on a fake uh, false information conspiracy of overpopulation it, it, it's not true so uh, we're going to talk about that a little bit more uh, why is this a problem this uh, anti-China one-child policy narrative I mean first of all it's a uh, it's based on a conspiracy. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's another, it's another method to like uh, make China look evil or bad. It's a, it's a moral attack against China that, that like a magical number of uh, millions, uh, hundreds of millions, billions of children in China were lost because. Uh, because of this policy that uh, that uh, China got from uh, basically by inf by influence of America to uh, control the population of China, and then it's I mean it's just uh, it's just like America has a uh, abortion. Uh, you can you can uh, be uh, be. Uh, respectable and call it a discussion about abortion but it's really just uh, like uh, about uh, people who are obsessed with fetuses and uh, women's uh, women's uh, activities they're obsessed with fetuses and abortion and uh, fetishists of fetuses and so on that you know just well, well, poisoned the, the, the discussion, <laughs> and, and just I mean, anyway, uh, it is not knowable how many children in China were affected, or I mean, uh, how many abortions, uh, fetuses, and so on were, were like affected in China. It's not knowable, and also every fetus is is uh, scientifically not viable for successful birth. So I mean, and China was also poor, so healthcare was not not the best so I mean it's not knowable how many how many, how many fetuses were affected or children were affected so like but the conspirators and uh, fetishists will uh, imagine millions and billions of children and fetuses like uh, so-called lost in China and it's, uh, I mean I mean like they were they were angels they were innocent babies they were never born in so-called evil China but it's not true like it's not true it's just a f goddamn conspiracy why China is the China became the largest population on the planet. So I mean it based on that fact alone it's just it's just uh, it's just weird to like imagine to, to just conspire against China and say that, oh so many children so many fetuses were lost. I mean China became the largest population on the planet. I mean relax you already got what you wanted, uh, Mr. Conspirator. 
so many babies in China that China became the largest population on the planet. So I mean, uh, it's just it's just a weird conspiracy to attack China as evil because of the one child policy when China has the most had the most children on the planet to become the largest population on the planet. It's just it's just weird. It's just weird. This conspiracy is just weird. And this narrative against China about the one child policy, policy is just weird. Like there are so many children in China that China became the uh, largest population. Like there is no need for any conspiracy against this evil one child policy. Like there, there is no need. China is the largest population. Like what are you saying? That China should have the double the people that uh, that the China already has? Like what is this? What is the purpose of this conspiracy? Because if China was bad for having this one child policy, then they should have been better and had and have now four billion people or something. Like it's just, it's just weird. It's just weird. The 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 the, the conspiracy is just dumb and weird and uh, illogical. Well, I mean it's a conspiracy. But I mean, to all of the conspirators that believe in this, that write about this one child policy in a, like in a negative way against China, like please get out of women's vaginas get out of people's bedrooms like don't be so fetus obsessed uh, don't be don't fetishize don't fetishize don't fetishize fetuses and don't obsess about people's fetuses and their like vaginas just don't like it's just weird just it's crazy and it's it's weird <coughs> okay so 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 yeah, like, I mean, the problem is that it's, it's, it's a, it is a conspiracy, and it's not a logical conspiracy. It's just a weird conspiracy. Ah, <sighs> okay. So, as we already said, the the one child conspiracy, the, the one child policy, and a negative narrative against China about it is a conspiracy. But it is based on a larger, older conspiracy about overpopulation that uh, they, they, they are or there will be too many humans on the planet and that the human population grows quicker than food resources and other resources and so on. But I mean, it's been proven for like almost as long as the idiot <laughs> conspiracy about the overpopulation has been a thing. That it has that it has been proven uh, for almost as long to be false. It's just a myth. It's a it's it, it's a myth. It's a myth. Like there is not an overpopulation, and it, there won't be an overpopulation. First of all, uh, humans eat too much. Humans can exist on very like uh, on much lower on a much lower caloric intake than they do, and still survive. So I mean, they, I mean, there would have to be like a very uh, big human population on the planet and a very low like human uh, very low food uh, food uh, population for it to be like a problem where people start dying from like not having enough food and so on so I mean like no but I mean it's a it's a, it's, a, it's a global no I mean no it's a global conspiracy but it's a conspiracy that affected like mm, a lot of um, uh, uh, a number of countries and especially America which is uh somehow always uh involved with a conspiracy most conspiracies so um the an uh, American, well, I mean, this I, this uh, conspiracy of overpopulation basically uh, culminated in uh, a book released by uh, an a, bi a biologist in America, an American, but basically a German American. Anyway, so his name was Paul R. Ehrlich, 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 one of those things. And uh, his book was called The Population Bomb, released in 1968. Uh, yeah, there is no population bomb. It's just fake information. No, not fa uh, it's just false information, of a myth. It's a conspiracy. So, uh, I mean, he uh, is still alive. And uh, I, I assume that he still believes in this and <laughs> so on and so forth. But I mean, it's just, it's just uh, bad information false information, it's a myth, it's a conspiracy. And, um, 
And I mean, I don't know what you're going to say. He's associated with uh, California and Stanford University, so he's there in the sunshine imagining a population bomb. It's a population conspiracy. It's a bomb of conspiracies. So, uh, yeah. So, as I said, uh, America is one of the countries that believes in this, that promotes this conspiracy of population bomb for like years and years, decades and decades and decades. And, uh, uh <coughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, because of this general belief in America, but it's a population bomb, but a population crisis, that basically uh, is a problem because of other countries that are non beige, majorly, like America. I don't even know if it's that true anymore. Isn't there like, you know, it doesn't matter. So, um, enter the United Nations, which is an organization, an international organization based in America, USA. It's based in uh, New York. I would say. So, um, yes, United Nations. I mean, uh, I don't know if I want to dive deeper into United Nations because, I mean, like, obviously China is a member, but I mean, there are, like, problems with United Nations too, like, you know, obviously. But anyway, <coughs> the United Nations is based in, U U in USA, it's influenced by USA, and it's also funded majorly by USA. Uh, and uh, when it comes to this conspiracy about overpopulation of, uh, of humans and uh, other countries that are non beige having should that should, you know, morally and, you know, coercively by United States uh, control their populations. The United Nations has uh, a specific program called United Nations Fund for Population Activities that was funded in 1969 to, uh, well, basically advise other countries on how to control their populations. Crazy. Uh, okay, it was funded in 1969. And, I mean, the whole premise is insane. Insane. But, uh, specifically insane because Ronald Reagan... Oh, Jesus. I'm not gonna dive deeper into the Ronald Reagan because that has so many problems. But, George H. W. Bush... I'm not gonna dive into that either because that has so many problems. George W. Bush. <sighs> I don't know which one of those has more, the most problems, but anyway. I'm not gonna dive deeper into that with any videos, because I have, don't have the energy or the time. But these presidents of USA and their administrations, they withheld funding from this uh, population activities um, uh, department of the United Nations, UNFPA. Because UNFPA and their leaders did not listen to direct demands from the USA government on how to pressure countries and their population control activity. And also these countries received funding or they didn't receive funding from the UNFPA. Like literal pressure from the USA government on how, on, 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 on how to control other countries' population through the UNFPA. Also China. So, uh, it's just a mess of uh, conspiracy and immoral pressure by United States in and UNFPA to like control other countries' population. It's literally beyond, it's beyond immoral, it's beyond crazy, it's beyond like insane, it's beyond conspiracies, it's really just evil. It's just evil. Let's just say it's just evil. And America has been murdering black people for like hundreds of years, so uh, based on racism and other reasons. So I mean like, evil. It's just evil. So I mean, okay, so the first leader of UNFPA was Rafael Salas, who was born in the Philippines, when the Philippines was occupied by USA. So I mean, 
there was a there is a risk that you, Rafael M. Salas was con- was influenced and pressured by United States, like literally by being by his country being occupied by United States and so on. So I mean, it's just a whole lot of United States involvement in this in this control of population of other countries uh, system. Okay, so it's obvious that UNFPA and United through United States then also I mean like as an influence was <coughs> related to population and demographics of other countries and that it evolved into an advocacy group as in like telling other countries on how to do things about their population and it also evolved into a coercive population control program of other countries China was also affected so with the direct help of the UN and FPA as influence by United States and the UN United Nations and the UN FPA the Chinese government instituted a policy that forbade women from having more than one child in a lifetime so the one child policy was created in China based on influence from United States so I mean any evil narrative about this one-child policy that is written by people in media and news they uh, immorally and evilly omit, omit the information that United States influenced China to create this policy and any abortions that came out of this uh, program and policy was based in part in a large part by United States so uh, yes one of the people in China that was influenced by this uh, myth of a uh, overpopulation and uh, and, uh, and 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 uh, and so on was a man called Ma Yinchu and uh, he was an academic and once he was the president of the University of Beijing so uh, he was influenced by this conspiracy of overpopulation and uh, he uh, was also a part of the Chinese government at one point and he advised the Chinese government and this combined with United Nations and their uh, USA influenced uh, uh, population control policy basically resulted in a one-child policy and a population control program in China and uh, and then an. oh all of that contro- co- created this whole conspiracy narrative against evil China and their uh, population oppression control of uh, population and I mean it came from United States a uh, United Nations <coughs> so I mean uh, Oh, the the conspiracy also evolves because, I mean, like, who's going to stop it? It, Now the conspiracy is that China has a population problem and that there are not enough people in China for the future. (laughs) And I mean, (laughs) like, the conspiracy was illogical to begin with, so I mean, uh, like, it it just becomes crazier and more illogical. Like, uh, first of all, first there's no one, not enough people, and now there's not, no, first of all, first there's too many people. And now there's not enough people, and I'm like, China is, or China was, and still has the most uh, population on the planet. So I mean, like, the fact is the fact, and then this conspiracy just makes uh, twists the facts and make it make everything like illogical and crazy. But I mean, now the narrative is like China has not enough people, and it's a negative China narrative. <laughs> I mean, like, obviously. So I mean, like, what a, well. What a wow, wow, what a wow! I mean, the goal is to make China look negative and bad and evil, so that's the conspiracy. And America and their abortion-obsessed uh, uh, people are still uh, driving that conspiracy, you know, through the uh, off the cliff, <laughs> and you know, jumping into people's bedrooms and putting their uh, opinions into 
uh, women's vaginas and you know telling them what to do. What? <laughs> That's funny. That's very funny actually. But it's not funny when people die because they can't, they 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 got they didn't, they, didn't, they couldn't get an abortion and you know. Ugh. Yeah. Well. That's uh, what happens when you are, when uh, when uh, conspiracy is uh, your energy. But when it affects other countries, then it's just, just I mean, idiot policies based on fake information of false conspiracies and myths and oh, just just stupid. I mean, it's just. It's a conspiracy. The one-child policy, negative narrative against China is just a conspiracy. It's just, it's just, it's just dumb. <laughs>